right, what you're looking at here is the roof of the Great Alaskan. Fully installed. And I'm pretty pleased with it. And oh my gosh, this is just solid as a rock. It's amazing. Um, I think I can do pull-ups off the, off the back overhang here. It is rock solid. So that's very cool. Nice design, Brian. So anyway, good progress. I didn't do much on her today. Tomorrow I'll spend some time sanding and uh, getting it ready to go sit on a trailer. That's a big step too. Doing small things right now, trying to get her ready to get the motors put on. So today was all about permanently installing uh, the transom jack. So it was just, all the holes were pre-drilled and I'd epoxied them. So I just needed to make sure I had the right heavy duty stainless steel hardware. Um, I cut out two sheets of 1 8 inch aluminum to back. And then I just coated pretty much everything in silicone um, compound uh, for bedding the whole thing. Um, the holes, as I said, were already sealed up with um, epoxy. Uh, so they're good and waterproof, but with all of the silicone, nothing should be getting there. The other thing that I need to get done before I put it on the trailer is to have the tie downs in. So that's what I'm doing now. And uh, I assume most people do this. If you just drill a hole, the two holes for the U-bolt, because these are my, gonna be my transom tie downs. Uh, it's half inch stainless steel bar. Um, getting them straight is almost impossible. So I made a couple of jigs out of a really good, uh, out of oak and drilled holes at the right spacing and exactly 90 degrees in all directions through it. Uh, I put it up there, drill a hole, then I put this pin in, line it up uh, and drill the other hole. And that keeps everything absolutely square and absolutely evenly spaced and it goes in 90 degrees to the wood. So uh, I start with a small, drill i will increase that to a larger jig and a larger diameter drill bit um, actually this is half inch but the drill bit i'm using i think is five eighths um, and that will give me good room to coat with thin epoxy uh, and then thickened epoxy to make sure the edge grain is all sealed up once that's good and secure i'll run a dowel with sandpaper in there to smooth it out and then I'm just gonna cake it with um, silicone sealant uh, and remount these bolts permanently. So you might ask, dummy, why wouldn't you be painting it first? Well, I'm not anywhere close to painting it, but I do need to get the motors on to get them out of the storage uh, for the dealer, so. But I had to spend a couple extra days getting the trailer uh, modified to fit the bottom. I'd already done lots of structural work on it um, setting up the bed and everything else. But the thing that I kind of screwed up is I didn't have the bunks spaced correctly for the strakes on the bottom of the boat. They were, it was just gonna be really tough to load the boat and not have the strakes sitting on the bunks. So I remeasured everything, cut off a bunch of supports, lowered the bed, uh, added the brackets, all new hardware, and then a couple extra two by sixes with the uh, carpeting on them and I think it's really solid. It's gonna be fine. Hey there, I have a little tip uh, I came up with because I was getting frustrated um, getting epoxy inside these little holes that I have to make for various uh, through holes. Um, in this case, you know, as I talked about, I was drilling templates for the U-bolts. That'll be my transom tie down, but you wanna make sure, especially in your transom, well, especially anywhere, that those holes are really well sealed on the inside with epoxy. So I was looking at it thinking, you know, it's like I'm trying to clean a gun. I wonder if I could use one of my gun rods. Uh, no, I'll make one. Hey, so I got a probably three eighths inch dowel. I uh, put a slit in it with my jigsaw, uh, dip in a little epoxy, roll it around, get it nice and wet. And instead of cleaning my gun, I'm adding epoxy bolt hole. So this is the first time I've used it. Let's see how it works. So that's here. So put that in there. All the way through, in and out. Kind of twist it. Now 
that were the bore of my shotgun, it would be sparkling clean. And it's kind of nice because it really pushes it in to the uh, grain of the wood, make sure it seals. This is the drain hole for the kicker motor. And if you've got larger holes like this here, either work it around a little bit more or you make a bigger one. I'm making a mess here, but hey, nobody said creativity was pretty. I mean, what would you guys do without me without these kind of hints and tips? Another big day in the life of Randy Henry's Great Alaskan. Here's why. The truck and my trailer all queued up here. I have lifted the boat off of the front half up and removed part of the cradle. This is an idea courtesy Jeff Gonzalez from Oregon City. And now I'm gonna back the trailer under and start winching it on. We'll see how this goes. It's beginning to emerge. This is uh, harder than it probably ought to be. So I ended up putting visqueen between the bunk and the trailer and squirting it down with silicone lubricant as I winch it on and we're making progress. Thanks for the help from my lovely wife. Just trying to make sure it doesn't run into the back of the pickup there. of wisdom. <laughs> the bat. Here it is. They said it couldn't be done. It is not an episode of see it. It's out. Woo! Wow. That's good to have that done. One small problem, at least as my garage is currently configured, the trailer is a little bit long. Oh well. I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm gonna relax. Tomorrow I'll fix this.